Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the strongest wireless charger that I've found to date. And I'm talking about one that is able to go through not only a pop socket, but let's say that you have a phone with a regular case on it, such as my Galaxy S10 Plus, and you want to, for some reason, place a pad of post-its in between your phone and the wireless charger. So a lot of people know that if you have a extremely thick case or if you have a phone with a pop socket, sometimes those other cases that have you know, other attachments on the back, which I wouldn't want to use this one with one of those wallet cases where there's credit cards and debit cards and such in between there. Um, just because this one is so strong uh, that I don't want it to pretty much, you know, take away the ability of you using your debit and credit cards. Now, the one that we'll be talking about today is one from Belkin. It is the Boost Up, but make sure that you do get the one that is the 10 watts. Now, if you are interested in this product, I will have a link below the video inside of the description. You can click that, it takes you directly to Amazon, and then you can get this exact model that I'm talking about. Taking a look at the back of the packaging, you are able to see that there is other colors you can also get other than just black. A couple of the main things that they do want to show off is that there is a LED indicator letting you know the charging status, along with it charging through most cases up to three millimeters. So to replicate this, um, I am going a little bit further than that. This is the Galaxy S9 Plus with a Tech 21 case and then a closed pop socket on the back. And I'm going to show you that it'll be able to charge through that along with my Galaxy S10 Plus with again a case. This one's from gear nine and it'll also go through this large stack of post-it notes which is probably right around maybe between 80 to 90 sheets sitting inside of there um, and then it does come with a ac adapter that is inside so that's one thing that's different than most other wireless chargers is that it doesn't come with micro usb or type c it has its own ac adapter which is probably giving it just a little bit more power somehow um, but other than that the last thing i love about this little charger right here is that it does do the, do the fast adaptive wireless charge so if you have a samsung product and you are super addicted to that super fast charging that comes with the samsung phones this one does allow for charging up to those speeds you just want to make sure that you are getting one that is at that 10 watt not the 7.5 so this is just talking about how you can plug it in and how it all works inside here is your power adapter and then also the puck itself so probably Maybe how thick this little puck is, is how thick it can charge through. Probably not. So anyways, what we're gonna do is we will go through, we'll get this one plugged in, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you charge something with either a pop socket, or if you were to do it with, for some reason, post-it notes sitting between you and the charger itself. So once you have this one plugged into the back, let's plug this one also into the wall. Now with the Belkin wireless charger plugged in, if I was to place on the Galaxy S10 Plus, you'll see that it'll pop up with the fast wireless charging, which should state it right there on the bottom that says fast charging connected. And so then this way you are able to go with a fast charge. Now let's take it up just a step further. This one is the Galaxy S9 Plus with a Tech 21 case. There is a pop socket that is on the back. Now the only thing is that when you place something on there that has you know something really thick you know on the back of it, either if it's the case or for some reason you're going to be using um, the post-it notes in between your phone and a wireless charger. I don't know why. Um, it is going to be just a little bit less sensitive, uh, something that won't connect as fast. So you can see right there the red LED light on the Galaxy S9 Plus. It is going through the charge. Now because there is a lot of distance between the phone and the wireless charger itself, as you go through you might be just a little bit sensitive with moving it around, trying to find the sweet spot to get it charged up. But there is a lot of wireless chargers out there that they do actually get offer and give you the fast wireless charging, but none of them can go through something that is as thick as this. Now, this one was where I noticed that it's able to go through something super thick was when randomly, I, I have no idea why, but I placed post-its on this wireless charger when I was actually at the store and I just wanted to see if it was able to go through. Uh, and then now when I placed on the Galaxy S10 Plus, it also has a case. You can see that it is the doing the fast wireless charging. So this one's a pretty thick post-it note. I don't know why you would wanna do post-it notes in the, in the middle. That's just happened to be what I tested it with just to see if it would go through. Um, but the main purpose of this test is just to show you that between your phone and the wireless charger itself, there is a lot of gap that you can actually have in between there. So if you have one of the thickest cases, or if you have a pop socket, or if you just have something that's on your phone, or maybe you're, you're not happy with the wireless charger that you have, um, 
this is showing you proof that you can go through something pretty thick um, and it's with just a regular Belkin uh, wireless charger puck that you can get on Amazon. You can get it in stores. Um, I, I got mine from T-Mobile, uh, but I will be placing a link for this puck below the video inside the description just because this one is super powerful and it actually sits on the phone pretty well. Um, it, it's gripping it actually pretty well as well too. So it, it falls just a little bit when it gets to a certain point. Uh, but other than that, it has a good little grippage that some of the other wireless chargers don't have. Um, so if for some reason your phone kind of moves around or maybe if you're plugging this one into your car somehow and you, you don't want it to shift around in the vehicle, um, this will hold on to the phone itself pretty good. Um, and also on the table, so I'm actually kind of shaking it a little bit, trying to move. Um, there's grippage on the bottom and the top is basically what I'm trying to get at. So if you're looking for something that is super powerful, something that is a re reasonable in price, something that is super powerful to go through the cases, it also offers the fast wireless charging, then you really don't have to look any other further than this Belkin wireless charger right here. Uh, it's not, I'm not a, it's not a sponsored video. They didn't send it to me. I purchased this at a store myself, but just make sure that you get yourself the 10 watt version, which again, I'll place the link below this video inside the description. I just needed to share this with you guys. It was something that I nerded out with, um, placing a big post-it, you know, in between a phone and a wireless charger for me, I thought was super cool and it worked. Um, but other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.